looking for an audio interface for less than 350 bucks and not quite sure what to choose, don't sweat it, we got you covered, let's go. Hey guys, this is David here at Digital DJ Gear and I'm here today to share with you my picks for the best audio interfaces under 350 bucks, that's right, sub 350. I am a music producer, audio professional, and content creator, and after spending years in the industry, I wanted to just spend some time today and offer you guys a little bit of experience from me and knowledge on what my favorite interfaces are at that price point and help you um, get sorted out. And essentially, the interface is gonna be critical to getting audio to and from your computer, whether you're producing music at home, you're a singer songwriter or a beat maker, or if you're working from home and you are doing Zoom calls, it's very important to have good sounding audio. So the audio interface will be the tool to get it done. Before we jump in, please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for more videos from Digital DJ Gear. The first interface I wanna to talk to you about is going to be one that is pretty popular Maybe the most popular, the Scarlett 2i2 3rd Gen. Um, Focusrite does a really good job with interfaces. Very, very small, um, really solid build, travels well. It's a two in, two out interface. The mic preamps sound phenomenal on it. It does have this really cool air mode in which you can engage it and have the mic preamp sound, or emulate, should I say, the ISA um, air mode from the channel strip. Um, you know, this interface is probably one of the most popular because it just works. You plug it in, it's class compliant, which means you don't have to install a driver on your Mac. Um, you do have to put a driver on your computer for a, a Windows machine, but you plug it in, it appears as an output device and you're good to go. Um, I love the fact that there's a new onboarding feature for it. So when you plug it in um, with the internet connection, it'll guide you through how to set up the software, how to register your product. Really, really seamless, really, really straightforward. This guy also comes in um, a studio bundle um, package in which you can get a headphone, a mic, mic clip, XLR cable, basically everything you need in one box to start recording. Um, the studio package is at 270 bucks. So um, this guy, the red box is really, really popular. I mean, you've probably seen it somewhere. So I definitely recommend the 2i2 as a excellent option for an audio interface under 350. The next interface I wanna to recommend to you guys coming in at 149 is going to be the Arturia Mini Fuse 2. Um, Arturia is known for making some really, really good soft synths. I use them personally, and they make great synthesizers as far as hardware goes as well. Um, but interfaces is something that they're doing too. Um, again, a two in, two out interface, not very much wider than the 2i2, but a little bit wider. It is priced a little bit lower. Um, metal chassis, straightforward. I kind of dig the black and white high contrast colorways, if that's your thing too. Um, but pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. Gain knobs, really easy to use. Um, again, class compliant, plug it into my Mac, it showed up, started playing music immediately. Um, the one really, really cool factor about this guy though I love was the fact that you do get a USB type A connector on the back. So if you struggle with a laptop that has very few ports, um, you can plug your interface in and then still plug in your MIDI controller or your grid controller and make stuff, make beats on the go or utilize this guy too. So this is a really, really cool feature and maybe a, probably one of the things that you may find to be mission critical for you. So definitely recommend this guy, 149, the Arturia Mini Fuse 2. The next interface I wanna to talk to you guys about and recommend will be the Audient Evo 8. Coming in at 199, um, this interface is kind of a sleeper. Um, and I like it a lot actually. First things first, for that price point, you do get four inputs and four outputs. It's not very common. Um, they do sound great. The biggest feature for me though was the fact that you can control all of the functions with just the encoder. Um, the encoder is stepped, which means that it will increase and decrease and value in a stepped fashion, not like a continuous fashion. I like that a lot. May not be a big deal for some. Um, but the cool thing is that you can control everything by pressing the button and turning the knob. You wanna in, you know, adjust your gain on one of the inputs, you press the button, turn the knob. You wanna turn your volume up on your headphones, your mic, your headphones or your monitor outs, you press the button and you turn the knob. So, you know, the functionality is really, really cool. Also, for beginners, one of the coolest things about this particular interface is that you can actually press this green button. The interface will listen to the inputting signal 
and help you set the gain automatically. So if you're not quite sure how to you know, prevent from clipping, that kind of stuff, the interface will do that for you. Really, really cool stuff. 199 bucks, probably mm, one of the ones that are slept on. And I, you know what? I think this may be my traveling interface coming up. The last interface I wanna recommend to you guys is gonna be one that's pretty, pretty standard. 170 bucks, very similarly priced to the Scarlett 2i2. It's going to be the Presonus Studio 24C. Um, this guy, metal chassis, really good build quality, a bit bigger than the other ones that are, you know, gonna be desktop style. style. Um, I do like the fact that Presonus gives you a really, really good software offering. I also like the fact that this guy can travel. It's, it's pretty, pretty good weight. Um, it will travel nicely. A little bit off-putting having the phones in the back. Um, I will say that. Um, not a big deal for me, but could be a big deal for some. And you also get MIDI and um, IO on this guy too. Those are the four interfaces I recommend under 350 bucks that we carry here at Digital DJ Gear. I also wanted to throw in two honorable mentions. We don't carry them here at Digital DJ Gear, but definitely worth the shout out. That's gonna be the SSL 2 and 2 Plus. Um, those come in at 269 and 349 respectively. SSL is known for making phenomenal consoles. Um, the interfaces do feature a really cool 4K emulation, which emulates the 4K console. Um, they sound really good, really good build quality. And the other one was going to be the UA Vault 276. That guy comes in at 299. Um, it does feature a vintage preamp model and onboard compressor that models UA hardware. Um, definitely worth checking out. All these interfaces are great options depending upon what your needs are. Um, I think it's very important for you to figure out what the specific feature sets are that matches what you need. So check out this comparison chart and again, kind of run back things. You can see what the features are. But the most important thing is to make sure that you're getting the interface that works best for your workflow. Me personally, I would choose the Audion Evo 8. Um, the price point, the feature set, the I.O. you get, it just really, really, really knocks it out of the park for me. I love the user interface. I love the ID and design of the interface. It travels well. It just seems like a really good interface for me. Now, if you are gonna prioritize something like, you know, really, really clear output as far as converter wise, the Scarlett 2i2 would be the one for you, hands down. If you're gonna prioritize something like, you know, software or even like virtual instruments, then you may wanna consider going with the Arturia Mini Fuse or the Presonus Studio 24C. All in all though, it's about figuring out what it is that really fits your workflow. And once you have it, you gotta rock what you got. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, peace. We hope you enjoyed this video from Digital DJ Gear. To learn more about all of our pro audio, lighting, DJ, and recording equipment, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Be sure to leave a comment below if this video helped you and check out these other videos we think you might like. Until next time, thanks for watching.